Today we're going to do some background colors. As you look on your picture, on the right side where the tree line comes in, it's going to be a little lighter shade of green. And on the left side, it's going to be a little bit darker. That'll help bring in highlights and depths and things like that. So what I did is I took a little phthalo green and a little olive green and I mixed them together because to me it makes a better green. Sometimes the greens out of the tube, I'll mix two or even three together to get that right color that I like. So we'll load the brush up and we'll go right up here and I'll start uh, probably somewhere in here and I'll just start making a little I just lightly tap the brush just to put in the tree line you don't have to worry about it being perfect or anything like that and you just make just follow along just make little things turn the brush I like to turn the brush as I'm painting I give it a little 180 or 360 especially when I'm doing trees because when you do that I'll show you down here if you, if you just pat the brush like that it's a very I mean that's good for some things like mountains and things like that but for like a tree line you gotta just move the brush around a little bit so I just twirl it around and just let it fall where it may but down in here you just want like a nice solid color and you just fill it in kind of keep an eye on where the where the rocks and different things like that are going to fall so I'm just going to keep going like this for a little bit and as you look in the picture it goes up a little bit so you just keep turning around like that you know just let it happen then it once you put the different shades we're going to go with like different shades of pink and a little bit of red here there some orange and yellow just to break it up a little bit and what that'll do is that'll define where the the center of the painting is I'll talk about that later whenever it happens so I'm gonna go ahead and fill this side in over here okay well I pretty much got this side all filled in but as you see on your on your picture the the branches from an, from a tree up close it's kind of coming over the side here so what I'll do is I'll take a a little smaller brush just a quarter inch or so and go up here load up the the same color green and just kind of figure out where the branches are going to be just go along like this and what that does is we'll put we'll put all these little things in first and then later on after this dries we'll take some brown and we'll put some nice branch branch strokes in here and then you'll put a couple of little dark little leaves on top of that and then you'll put like maybe two or three series of different yellows to give it nice depth so we'll just go up here we'll take a minute or two and I want it to run up the the top of the the canvas it's gonna just go here or there you can take the big brush too and just kinda give it like a little bit of different shapes here and there because all you're really looking for here is just different background colors just something just to just to fill in and you'll notice right away you can see I like to leave uh, different spaces where that that little bit of red is going to show through that's where the what I call the magic of the painting really starts to come together whenever you, you see that little bit of red and pink all mixed in there it looks real nice and it really really warms up the painting makes it look real nice so I'm just gonna take a minute or two and 
fill these in and then we'll give you a minute to work on your painting so I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> 